Hi everyone, I'm Steve here with David. David's a personal trainer at Fitness for 10 in Carson City. Thanks for being with us, David. Thanks for having me, Steve. All right, just so you know, we're getting some noise in the background on David's side because we are taking down a wall in the gym and kind of expanding to put some more functional type equipment in there. So it's going to be cool, but uh, we'll try to mute it when we can. Um, so let's talk about calories. My huge pet peeve is calories in, calories out, you know, and Yes, it's true that if you eat more calories, I say this all the time, then you burn, you're going to get fatter. So um, you're going to get fatter. We just heard that saw come on. So um, it, it, that's, it's just going to happen. But if you eat clean food, if you're eating clean, you'd be surprised at how hard it is to get very many calories. I took some notes here on, on just some different foods, but I use um, a, a macro counter. You can get multiple, there's multiple apps. You can get them right on your phone and it will count your calories and it will count your macros, how much fat, protein, and carbohydrates you're getting in the food. You put the food in it and it calculates it for you. So, um, Go ahead, David, before that uh, saw comes back on. Yeah, it's, it's a great point, Steve. So, you know, calories in, calories out. I've heard that. And you know what? To an extent, yes, you know what? We have a certain amount of calories that we expend as we're doing our activities and things like that and just basic, you know, living functions. But, you know, it's really the, the foods that you're putting in. So, um, Steve, you and I were talking earlier about this topic and, you know, there are certain foods where if you're eating, say, two chocolate donuts, 700 calories, right? So there's 700 calories. So somebody might equate that to, well, that's only 700 calories of my of my daily meal today, um, whereas 700 calories in eggs is a great example, as you did earlier. 10 eggs is 700 calories. So, you know, but what are the nutrient difference? Now, nobody's going to go and eat 10 eggs, at least nobody that I know. But if you look at those two things, you know, what are you getting for 700 calories in donuts? You're getting sugar, you're getting fat, you're getting nothing good at all for you, right? Um, whereas, you know, if you did eat 10 eggs or something equivalent, you're getting a ton of protein, you're getting a ton of, you know, there's some great fat within, you know, eggs and, and different foods. So it's not just about how many calories, that's, that's part of the calculation, but what's making up those calories is really the most important thing. And I think a lot of people don't realize that. Yeah. You use the egg example. An egg has all the, all the, the protein in it you need with all the essential amino acids. It has all the essential fatty acids. It has all the fat soluble vitamins. I mean, it goes on. We can go on and on and on about what's in an egg. If I was going to choose one thing to eat, that's what it would have to be. It would have to be an egg. It, it's, it just covers all the bases. Or if you eat two donuts, two donuts are the same as 10 eggs. How much protein is in 10 eggs? 60 grams. How much protein is in two donuts? Nothing. You know, and you guys know that my opinion is donuts are the worst possible food you can eat because what it is, and you know what? It's not the sugar in the donut that's going to get you. What a donut is, is glyphosate deep fried in rancid trans fats. That's what a donut is. Hey, the sugar is the best part of it. A donut is a horrible food, you know, and you're not getting nutrients. And we use some other examples. You know, let's see, like here's a... Uh, you know, two or, or one little pack, you know, the one little pack of M&Ms, 250 calories. That's easy to eat. And how much protein do you think is in a little pack of M&Ms? There's no protein in that. I mean, a, a couple grams. One slice of chocolate cake, 537 calories, no nutrients. So the calories are piling up. 
How about we talked about, and this one kind of surprised you, uh, the potato chips. Uh, potato chips are one ounce or 15, uh, 15 little chips. Nobody eats just 15. What was that commercial when I was a kid? Nobody can eat just one. Yeah. Well, nobody can eat just 15. That's 160 calories and no nutrients. That's one ounce. One ounce, 160 calories. One ounce of chicken is hardly any calories. And it's one ounce of chicken is seven or eight grams of protein because it's lean. So what you eat matters. And if you're trying to eat clean and healthy, eat broccoli and chicken and try to get up to 2000 calories, how hard is that, David? Yeah, that's that's pretty tough. And so a lot of times people look at, you know, calories differently than than you and I, Steve. And, and if you're eating, you know, lean meats and, and vegetables, that's a lot of food to, to get up to, you know, 2000 or in my case, about 2400 calories right now. Um, that's a lot of food. And that's why I'm eating, you know, six to seven different types of meals a day. Average person, of course, is not going to do that. It's not preparing for a a show or anything. So just to get to that 2000 or, you know, maybe even 1800, whatever your calorie intake needs to be, can be pretty tough on, on, you know, some of these, you know, whole foods, these lean meats and different things, but it's, it's really all about, um, you know, that one ounce of chips, which again, did blow me away, Steve, because one ounce is, I mean, literally nothing in your hands, you know, you <laughs> feel that one ounce of chips, and you're gonna you're gonna eat the whole bag because yeah you can't just eat one I'll say you can't just eat one ounce also because you know not only is it not much sustenance within those well basically nothing but it's also been eroded away through the the processing and everything else but then all the additives in it to make you want to eat more and more and more which of course works most of the time so you're really by the time you're done with this potato chips as an example I mean you've eaten. 1500 calories before you know it and you're not full you know you're not satisfied i'm sure you won't feel great but then it's like you still have to go and eat more food just to get the nutrients that you need so now who knows how many calories you're eating so a lot of times people don't look at it in in that kind of way where you know we have that chocolate cake or we have m m's or we have these different things which Every once in a while, I mean, sure, you know, you've got to be realistic. You know, there will be certain things. Yeah, you know, I'll go have some potato chips. Great. I think one of the things that people have to understand is it shouldn't be an everyday thing. Um, and that's easier said than done for a lot of people. And that's where as a nutrition coach and a personal trainer, you know, I talk to all of my clients about stuff like this. And I don't expect them to cold turkey, quit everything that they've ever known and you know, go on this you know, chicken diet because it's not realistic. But what we do talk about is let's let's steer you in a realistic path and show you, you know, what it means calories in, calories out. What does that really mean? Well, what calories are you putting in your body? What nutrients, what ingredients are you putting in your body? That's the true, the true thing that counts. Because at the end of the day, you know, we could put in the same amount of calories in donuts as we do in lean meat. Well, you know, a lot of things are going to go the opposite direction with those donuts we're putting in because we've got no nutrients. We've got nothing there. We've just got calories, right? Um, whereas if we have our lean meats, vegetables, etc., we're going to have, you know, our muscle growth, our health is going to be great. Our joints are going to be good, you know, our blood pressure, all those things that we want to make sure we um, have, you know, very good so we can prolong our lives and have a healthier time as well is going to happen here definitely not happening with those donuts, regardless if they're the exact same amount of calories. So we really have to just understand, you know, the better, the more whole foods we have, the better off we are. And, you know, that the calories themselves should be made up of things that, that are going to benefit your health and your longevity versus just making a number, so to speak. Okay. Yeah. I want to, I want to challenge you all with something and take this challenge. If you, if you need to get fit, if you need to lose weight, I can give you a simple challenge that will cause you to lose weight. And I'll give that to you in a minute. But I first wanted to say, if you, if you're just eating potato chips, guess what? You're start, you're going to starve. You're going to die. You cannot eat potato chips and live on potato chips. There's no protein in it. It's a processed food. Uh, they're fried. Um, you will die. 
If you think you're going to survive on potato chips, you're wrong. You will eventually die. So here's my challenge. And try to do this. First of all, and I'm sure you'll agree with this, David, don't drink any calories. What does that mean? Drink water. If you only drink water and you only eat lean meats and vegetables, try that. You, you do need to get some fats. Maybe you get um, a tablespoon of olive oil or two tablespoons of olive oil, um, which is healthy, very healthy fat uh, to make up for this. But I mean, look, I just created a diet that people are going to, it's going to be almost impossible not to lose weight on. So eat lean meats, that's chicken, um, lean ground beef. Lean ground beef means 7% fat um, or even 10% fat. You are getting some essential fatty acids there and some healthy fats there in that meat, even though it's not a lot. We talked about it in another video, shrimp. So eat lean meats and vegetables. Eat lean meats, vegetables, and don't drink any calories. That means don't drink any juices. Don't uh, drink any soda. Just drink water. Eat any lean meats you want and any vegetables you want. And try to consistently... Get up to 2,000 calories. Most of you aren't going to be able to do it. And so under 2,000 calories, almost everybody's going to lose weight. And it's hard to get up to 2,000 calories eating lean meats, vegetables, and not drinking your calories. Look, if you're going to drink your calories, you can go to Starbucks, one drink, and you're at you know 700 calories right there, right? You know, have a little whipped cream on it and all that. And... Uh, it's easy if you're, if you're drinking calories. Heck, you can, anyone can, just about anyone can drink 2,000 calories in a day if you're drinking soda and, you know, these sugary and caloric coffees and stuff that you get at some of these coffee shops. It's easy to do. But try to get your calories up. Like I said, that's your challenge with lean meats and vegetables. What do you think, David? Yeah, I mean, I would agree. That is a good challenge, you know, and one of the things, benefit of those types of foods is it's going to keep you fuller longer. So your 700, 800, sometimes 1,000 calorie Starbucks drink that you get that's super delicious tasting and sugary and all that good stuff that, that we love, you know, you're going to be hungry in 15 minutes after you have that. So then we're going to bring in more calories, you know, maybe those one ounce potato chips that, that we're talking about. So the, the lean meats, the vegetables, water especially, because I think pretty much most of the population does not drink nearly enough water. So, you know, you, have, you combine those things. Not only do you stay fuller longer, eventually those cravings start to go away. That could be a whole nother video. But that's, that's part of the challenge too, is you know what? Try to get to that 2,000 calories in lean meats and vegetables. Yeah, you know what? You're probably not going to get there unless you're used to it like, like I am and how to get there. But... Um, you're going to definitely, you know, for most people, not every single person, lose weight depending on what your your calorie expenditure is every day. But yeah, give that a try. And that's one of those things that people just don't think they can do. And they absolutely can. It's just you need to get clear out that stigma of it's going to be too hard and boring. Make it fun. You know, don't make it boring. It's kind of up to you to 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 make it as as fun and different as you want to, but also staying healthy and getting the right foods in your system. Yeah. And if you're, if you're eating these coffee or drinking these coffee drinks and soda and juices and drinks that have a lot of calories and, you know, like at these coffee shops or whatever, um, and you're eating potato chips and, you know, having desserts, you're easily getting 3,500 to 4,000 calories easily. Oh yeah. It's easy to get it without trying. What happens? Well, when you have that sugar drink, like you said, you're going to get a glucose spike and a glucose crash. Your, your glucose is going to dump. And when your glucose dumps, it's going to signal the brain saying, ooh, we're hungry. Come on, more food, more food. Give us more potato chips. You're going to be a yo-yo. That's not good. That can cause diabetes, heart disease, all kinds of bad things, visceral fat. So... If you just eat healthy, it's going to make a difference. And 
like I said, you know, we're talking about some of these foods that have high calories. When you eat those, you can easily get to 3,500, 4,000 calories. You know, rich foods with sauces and stuff on it. There's a lot of calories in those things. There's a lot of calories in condiments. That's where the calories are coming from. So if you just eat plain, I know it's kind of boring, but take this challenge. And I, I want to see how many of you can consistently eat 2,000 calories just eating plain food. I know it's kind of boring, but there's even some healthy sauces and things out there that you can eat. Oh, yeah. So, David, if uh, you're getting ready for a show, if, if anyone wants to follow you on social media, how do they do it? So I have two social media pages over on Instagram. So the one that kind of tracks my progress for the show and some different updates and stuff like that in that respect. Uh, at Instagram, it's at David Wright underscore fitness. And then I have my personal training page, shows you boot camps, different things like that. Just started that page. It's at Wright Fitness Training. So follow both of those uh, and, you know, keep uh, a look at it for the updates. Okay, and if you're in the Carson City area, you can go by the gym and say hi to David. So thanks for being with us, David. Thank you, Steve.